Sellers, today we will be learning about image guidelines and the recommended websites that you should be following. To begin with, every vertical has its own image guidelines. In order to know more, which is the guideline that you need to follow for your vertical, you need to go ahead and select that particular image guideline from SLC. This is our listing level information that we are putting in. Once you have entered, selected the vertical and entered the brand, you will be going to this particular page. You need to go ahead and click on this particular plus sign and below you will be finding view Flipkart's image guidelines. Click on that. It will directly redirect you to go ahead and check for the vertical that you would like to know more information in Cell Learning Center. Go ahead and look for the particular vertical that you are selling in. Scroll down. There's a list of verticals and accordingly go through the presentation. The presentation will teach you regarding the image type that you will be entering or inserting for this particular listing. Ensure that you follow that particular guidelines in order to adhere to Flipkart's policy and ensure fast QC approval. Similarly, if you go ahead and type recommended websites to upload your image to create listings on Seller Learning Center, you will be able to go ahead and view the page that you need to go ahead and follow in order to upload your photos and paste the same link in bulk template. You can also see that check the privacy setting before sharing your image link. Change private to public so that our team can access the image to update your catalog. Accordingly, you have got three recommended websites that Flipkart would go ahead and accept the photos that you have provided during the listing process. So ensure that you follow the recommended websites instead of using random websites like this. Please note, if you go ahead and use the random websites, then there are chances that your listings might get rejected. In order to go ahead and use Google, Google Drive or Dropbox, simply you can go ahead and upload the photo. So let me quickly show it to you how it looks like. For example, in this case, these are the photos. Let's say that I want to go ahead and share the link of this particular image. Right click on it. Click on get shareable link. In order to copy the link to the clipboard and click on share in order to change the settings. You can see the settings over here. All you need to do is click on advance and you can go ahead and change this to flipkart.com or anyone at flipkart.com or anyone can view by using this particular link. You can change this also in terms of access, give in add edit access and then click on save. Similarly, when you go ahead and click on get shareable link, a particular window would come up and it will ask you to go ahead and click on this particular link. Accordingly, you can see the sharing settings. Change it to everyone can view, like I showed you, and accordingly save the settings. Once you get the link, paste that particular link to your bulk template file in order to go ahead and ensure that people can access the file and take actions accordingly. Thank you. In order to know more, follow the next video.